In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very first overcapture video with the Insta360 ONE X, Invisible Selfie Stick, and the ONE X app, so you can make a video that looks like this. How to film a 360 video. Screw the One X onto the invisible selfie stick. Turn the One X on. Go to video mode and make sure it is set to standard 5.7K 25 frames per second mode. If it isn't then go to settings, go to video settings, scroll down Tap the big button repeatedly until it says 5.7K, 25 frames per second. Scroll down to done. Press the big button to confirm and cycle back to video mode by pressing the small button. And press the big button to start recording. Extend the selfie stick all the way. Make sure the LED screen is facing towards the subject. In this case the subject is you, hold the selfie stick out in front of you, keep your arms by your side and walk for at least 20 seconds. Then press the shutter button to stop recording. Congratulations, you have just filmed your first 360 video. How to edit a 360 video. To import your 360 video from the camera to the ONE X app, connect your ONE X to the app via Wi-Fi, go to Album, Camera, video and your footage will appear. Hold down on the footage, tap save to app and your footage is now downloading to your phone. Make sure you have enough storage on your phone. Once that's done you can turn off the ONE X. Go into your phone camera roll and tap the footage to edit it. Next trim the footage to your desired start and end point to get rid of any bits when you are setting up the camera. To do this go to edit, trim and with the left marker selected choose a new starting point for your video and then tap the right marker to choose a new ending point for your video. Once you are happy with your trim, then tap the tick. Take a look around your 360 video by swiping left and right. Now you are going to add pivot points to tell the app where you want to look in the 360 video at a given point in time. At the beginning of the video I want to look at myself so I will hold down my face on the screen and a set of options will appear. Tap add pivot point. Now the app knows to look at my face at the beginning of the video. I also want to keep looking at my face for the next 5 seconds of the video. So I will scroll 5 seconds later and add another pivot point on my face. In the next second I want to turn the view around to look where I am going. I will scroll 1 second later, swipe the video to turn the view around and add a pivot point in the direction I am heading in. I want to keep looking in this direction for 5 seconds. So I will scroll 5 seconds later and add another pivot point. Now I want to turn back to look at myself again. I will scroll one second later, swipe to turn the view around and add a pivot point on my face. I will add a final pivot point at the end of the video so the app knows to keep looking at my face until the end of the video. Scroll to the beginning and play it back to see your video. Now your video is almost ready to export, but here are a few tips. Tap back to save your video. Now when you enter your edit again, it will carry on from where you left off. You may come across a black cloud or shot on ONE X logo when you export your video. To get rid of this, go to settings and turn off official watermark. And then tap Nadia logo and select none. Go back into your edit. Tap here to change the aspect ratio of your video for Facebook, YouTube or Instagram. The wide options will give you slightly better video quality because they crunch more pixels into the frame. For this example I will use 9x16 for Instagram stories. To export your video tap export, tap local to save the video to your phone. You will see a preview of your video. When you are ready tap export and your video will begin exporting. Congratulations, you just made your first overcapture video.
That's it, you now have everything set up and ready to make amazing videos with the One X. I would love to see your videos, so don't forget to tag me.